Okay, let's go. Okay, saints, let's go. Blessings to everyone. Okay, saints, we we're gonna do the periscope. We're gonna do the periscope. God bless everyone. God bless everyone. Yeah, but one, everybody riding me that same stuff. <laughs> What's weird, we got a whole busload of people up there riding me. Prophet, what did I do? What did I do to offend you? Why did you block me? What did I do to offend you? There's a whole lot of people riding me that stuff. I can tell some of y'all haven't been in prayer. <laughs> what would Jesus do? <laughs> I'm playing around. I'm playing around, saints. But like I told you, saints, I'll let you know if I make another page. I'll let you know if I make another page, but Lord told me to get rid of that page. He told me to get rid of that page and he told me not to have that page right now if I have another page which most likely I will in the in the moments to come I might be moments or whatever I'll let you know and I'll inform you I'll let you know and also you'll be able to friend me there and we can start afresh um, so I'll keep you in the the knowing of that, okay? Okay. God bless you. I see somebody giving me some <laughs> some wise counsel. Thank you. I receive. Now listen. Um God bless everyone. Saints, it's amazing what Jesus is doing, and I want to share some things with you right now. Says I'm excited about what's coming to my life. Jesus told me that I'm in a a new uh, a new realm of power and grace and wisdom. So I embrace this place with Jesus. You want to embrace what Jesus is doing in your life. You don't want to shut it down. Um, we are familiar with the term that demons can delay you, but you don't want to become like a demon and delay God. You don't want to delay God. You want to make sure that God can carry out his plan in your life and get things done at his time frame. Um, there's things that's going to happen in your life that's going to be spontaneous. I come to tell everybody on this line, be ready for the, like uh, Reed said, the spontaneity. <laughs> so if you never saw that Reed video, you never know what I'm talking about. But... I want everybody to to be ready for the spontaneity of Jesus in your life. Because he's going to do stuff that you didn't expect him to do. Be ready, be open, and don't narrow-mind God. Do not narrow-mind God. I'm talking about the seven graces of a prophetess. The seven graces of a prophetess and the seven graces of a prophet. And how does a prophet overcome sin? You know, saints, in this life, everyone will be tempted. Everyone will have a door that God does not want them to enter. And everyone will have the opportunity to do what God does not want them to do. That's what sin is. Sin is when God wants me to do something and I do something otherwise than he wants me to do. You overcome sin as a prophet by, number one, you have to shut off people. If you look at your life, the only struggles you have is connected to people. 
You never struggle when you solo. You, you struggle when there's some type of connection to people. You would have never had a soul tie if you didn't have a relationship with a person. You would have never had any uh, uh, wrong voices if it wasn't for people. You would have never had any bad advice if it wasn't for people. The reason why a prophet sins is because of their lack of protecting their personal environment as a prophet. Because a prophet carries an atmosphere and environment. A prophet carries a certain uh, scenery that God places upon him, places upon her. If you're not diligent to protect that, you yourself would bring yourself into a place of sin. How does a prophet overcome sin? You, number one, you can't be lazy. You have to be intentional and diligent concerning what you know God is telling you to do to protect yourself. If you know that your weakness is lust, why be in the company of someone that's lustful? Even if it's a man. If you are a man and you struggle with lust and another man is lustful, it's not good for you to be there. Number one, the man just going to conversate with you about stuff about females that's going to make you lust. Or versa, vice versa, carry on stuff with a woman, make you lust after a woman. Or, or vice versa, make you lust after a man if you're a female. Um, so when, when you are overcoming sin as a prophet, you must not be lazy. Uh, you must not be someone that's slothful. When I say slothful, it means that you don't take the initiative like you slow. You, 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 you can see signs of danger, but you don't move on it. If you study your life, you can notice that in your own life. Sometimes you knew that God was telling you something, but you wasn't uh, forceful to get it done. Or you, you was lackadaisy. You was saying, okay, maybe I'll do it. And you ended up missing God in the end. You can sin even though the prophetic is on your life because you are not keeping consistency with the time you spend with God. See, saints, this is the dangerous thing. The body of Christ have gone to scheduling prayer meetings. The body of Christ have gone into scheduling fasting. The body of Christ have, been, have gone into scheduling worship. Scheduling reading the Bible. Scheduling praise. Saints, the truth of the matter is we was always supposed to be in prayer. The Bible says pray without ceasing. Not pray when we go to a conference or pray when we go to a meeting or pray because someone is holding something. The Bible told us to pray without ceasing. You don't leave the principles of Jesus and, and not think that a principality is not going to dominate you. The principle of praise, he said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. That's what David said. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. He didn't just say just praise for, for, for 10 seconds or praise for 20. But, but, but if you lazy and you slothful, you'll adapt to that inconsistency with God. You don't ever want to be inconsistent with God because when you're inconsistent with God, it backfires on your mind. It backfires on your thoughts. It backfires on your attitude. Your attitude, your mind, your thoughts will be corrupt. It'll be defeated. It'll struggle. It'll be in darkness. It'll be weak. It'll be uh, a victim to Satan's power. Now, saints, I'm talking also about the seven graces of a woman. Every woman of God must know that she has the grace to rule her emotions. Every woman of God must know that she has the grace to rule her emotions. If you see in the text 
there was a scenario where we see that the woman uh, that were around Jesus' tomb, they knew that Jesus was about to be crucified. But you never see them get emotional to the degree that they made a wrong decision. You never see them go fight with the Pharisees. You never see them go start, start telling Jesus, how come you let them crucify you? You never see the woman act out of their emotions. These women were subject to the Holy Ghost. They were ruling their emotions as prophetess. You never see them act out in the flesh or do anything out of their will. The woman was operating in the grace of ruling their emotions. Every prophetess has the grace to rule their emotions. And now, number one for a man, every man of God, every prophet of God, rather, has the grace of dominion. Now, watch this. Every, every prophet must know, if you're a prophet of God, you must understand your dominion. Number one, you wasn't uh, created to uh, struggle like everybody else. Especially if you call yourself a prophet. If you call yourself a prophet, your... You're, you have to learn the uh, grace and the anointing that you've been given to walk in dominion. Samson had that dominion, but he mixed it with natural flesh. And that's why a lot of our teachings now are on natural flesh. We have the Holy Ghost, but we all struggle. We have the Holy Ghost, but we all got flaws. The saints, none of this stuff is biblical. When God calls someone to the prophet office, your gift does not only have the ability to deliver others, but your gift has the ability to deliver yourself. If you take a note, write that down. Your gift not only has the ability to deliver others, but your gift has the ability to deliver yourself. Saints, whenever God places the prophetic gifting in you, it's not only to set captives free, but it is also to keep you from captivity. It's also to keep you free from captivity. Your prophetic gifting carries a measure of the power of God. Always remember this. That's why there, 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 there will be many prophets that will end up in hell despite that prophetic gifting that was so marvelous upon their life. Because it carries a measure of God's power. Remember, he said that he gave us uh, uh, gifts according to the grace of Christ. Or he gave us grace according to the gift. Yeah, he told us he gave us grace according to the gift of Christ. So every grace, which is his ability, his power, carries gifting. So when you see someone with the gift of the prophetic, they're carrying grace which is the ability of God, the power of God, is not only to prophesy to people, but it's also for them to live a life that's accountable and be an example to the body of Christ. Number one, every, every prophet of God must know he has the grace of dominion. Number one for the prophetess, she has the grace to rule her emotions. She has the grace to rule her emotions. For the prophet of God, he has the grace for dominion. The grace for dominion is the ability to establish the will of God, not only for your life, but for the life of others. When God gave a prophet dominion, Manto Sanda Lavaya, he not only gave that prophet dominion because he was, uh, he was teaching that prophet how to uh, rule his own life, but he was giving him dominion to rule the life of others for a good cause, for them to enter the will of God, for them to experience blessings from God, from the, for them to experience God's power and God's blessing upon their life. So that's a grace that's given to you as a prophet. A woman, number two, she must know a prophetess. A prophetess has the grace to overcome soul ties. Let, let me say this, woman of God. A soul tie 
is when you can't get over a man. It's not one woman in this situation. Some women can't get over men that they never met. Some women can't get over men that they never even spoke with personally. Some women can't get over men that they see over TV. Some women can't get over men that they never even they never even kissed before. Y'all y'all ain't even listen. The bedroom wasn't even your room. Listen, it ain't nothing even went on. Listen, every woman has the grace to overcome a soul tie. Now, women get into soul ties more easier. And let me say this, let me say this. Women getting more getting soul ties easier than men. The Bible said that the woman is the weaker vessel. Why is she the weaker vessel? Cuz she's the emotional vessel. The reason why she's the weaker vessel is because she's the emotional vessel. Her emotions creates memories that she has to overcome of a person. I want I, I, I want you to hear me, saints. A woman's emotions create memories of stuff that make her struggle. You can tell a woman you look nice today. She will take it as, oh. You won't be with me. Oh. Maybe we can be together. Not all women. Not all women. Not all women. Just hear me. Not all women. I'm just I'm 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 drawing a reference here. This is for some um this is for somebody. Because her emotions create memories. And watch this. A woman will conversate with her memories even though they're not true. Ah. Listen, Jesus. Now nah, y'all ain't hear what I just said. I said a woman, she will conversate with her emotions even though they're not true. Her memories have a voice. So even if God is leading you in one realm in the spirit, your memory will speak. Ah. Your memory will try to talk to you stronger than the voice of God. The voice of God is telling you, I want you to go this route, but your memory is telling you, but I like the feeling that I had this one moment. Now watch this. It's so dangerous for a woman because... You can be in a situation where nothing is happening good, but the devil will pinpoint the good moments. Uh, you, you, you wasn't happy in the place in totality. But what the devil would do is he'll pinpoint the good moments that you had and magnify the good moments that you had and exalt the good moments that you had and cause the memories of the good moments to outweigh what God told you to do because that really wasn't a good situation. That's why God delivered you. But what your memory will speak to you about every good memory that you had to cause you to start second guessing if God really right. So a woman, she the weaker vessel. Why is she the weaker vessel? Because she the emotional vessel. Her emotions will create memories of stuff that God told her was illegal in her life. Saints, do you know what happened with the serpent? All he did was he spoke to Eve emotionally. Then he put the tree in front of her to create a memory with the emotion. So then she couldn't shake the sin. Ah! Says is in the text. What she did, what he did was speak to her from the realm of emotion. You think God don't want you to become like God's? So she started feeling bad. She started feeling like God was withholding something from her. 
and how God, how the devil fights women is he'll make you believe that God is holding something from you. Like God ain't letting you get married. Like God ain't letting you get the promotion. Like God ain't letting you have the money breakthrough. Like God ain't letting you have joy. Like God ain't letting you have an easy life. Ah. Uh, what he does is he does the same thing. You think God don't want you to become like God? Why God holding this away from you, Eve? Why the Lord won't let you function like him? Why are he doing you like this? And what he did was he spoke to her emotionally and then he showed her that the tree. So what was he doing? He got to her emotional realm, then he created memories. Woman of God, listen to a prophet of Jesus Christ. As I stand in the presence of the Holy Ghost, I speak to you not only from experience. I speak to you from the depth of the anointing. The devil attacks you through emotions and memories. A woman would attack a man just because another man cheated on her. A woman would say, I remember what that old man did to me. The What happened is her emotions would acquaint her with the memory. And so even if she does get a good man, in the back of her memory is the emotions that she felt when the man cheated. Ah. So even though, even though God maybe gave her justice and victory to give her a good man, Mentally, emotionally, in her memory, she's thinking about the cheating scenario she had. And now it has sculptured her idea of every man. And some women will never admit it. But the truth is, they really believe that every man has the same tenacity to do the same wickedness that was done to them in the past. Saints. Let me give you a secret. I've been there. Somebody is bruised. You try to love, but bruised hearts does not receive love. Bruised hearts only receive negativity. Because when a heart is bruised, it don't matter how much you love it. They still believe that there's some catch behind the love. Uh. Since y'all ain't get this at church today, some of y'all went to church, you just got more dusty. Ain't nothing came across to you today. I'm sharing something to you that's changing your life for the good. <laughs> a fresh rhema word. And somebody touch your name and say, Arama, Arama. Arama, Arama. And some of y'all don't know how to spell Arama. R-H-E-M-A. Arama, Arama. So, Satan deals with a woman through her emotions and then creates memories. A, woman, a man can do a woman so wrong and say, baby, I want to be with you. And it'll mess up her whole plans. She was so strong in the Lord. Hallelujah. Mata papa. Glory to God. And then as soon as the man say, baby, you know I love you. Let's work this thing out. Her whole life messed up. Now, 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 even in that state, she'll forget any everybody in their mama. She'll forget everybody in their mama. And all of a sudden is a struggle. Why does that happen? Emotion plus memory. If you're on this line, I want you to write me that. Emotion plus memory. Emotion plus memory. That's how the devil hooks a woman. That's how the devil hooks a woman. Emotion and memory. That's how the devil destroys a woman's life. Through emotion and and memory. Woman of God, if you hear what I'm telling you, your life will never be the same again. If you receive what I'm telling you, Jesus will place a powerful realm of wisdom upon you so that no demon can defeat you ever again. This is how the devil defeats a woman.
through emotion and through memory. He gets the woman, number one, to get into the place of her emotions. And number two, he gets her into the place of her memory. He targets these two realms of a woman's life. That's why number two, God has given a woman the anointing and the grace to overcome soul ties. Woman of God, hear me. There will always be a man that God didn't send that been sent to be a stumbling block to your eternal life. I'm going to tell you again, woman of God, hear me, and you need to remember this. There will always be a woman, a, a man sent. There will always be a man sent to be a stumbling block to your eternal life. I want you to hear me, woman of God. There will always be a man sent to be a stumbling block to your eternal life. Uh, God wants you to be aware of this. And do not be defeated and go to hell for nobody. Especially the daughters of my ministry. I pray that you would purge yourself in this month of July. Fast. Pray. Seek God. Humble yourself underneath his mighty hand and give him time to heal you from things that is causing you to miss him. Even if you in lust is a, is, a, is a fruit of brokenness. The reason why women get broken is because, uh, or they get lustful because they're broken. Every woman that struggles with lust has had a relationship where a man has hurt them. Either molested them or cheated on them or did not treat them right in the relationship. What goes on afterwards is that it leaves an everlasting imprint on that woman that has to be broken off through the prophetic. That's why you connected to me. That's why you connected to me. Jesus is so powerful. He loved women so much that he'll never let a woman just fail. He sends her not only the help of the voice of the Holy Spirit. He sends her the help of not only the word, but he sends her the help of the prophet. You see her in one realm that the woman at Zarephath, she needed help from God. What did God do? He sent her a man named Elijah. The man was carrying the anointing to break off the demons that were fighting that woman and her son. As it was then, so it is today. Number two, God has given the woman the grace to overcome soul ties. Be free from who God said is not supposed to be in your life. Let the Lord do it for you. Don't go to hell for nobody. And don't let no relationship in this life be exalted above your relationship with Jesus. That's what he wants for you, woman of God. Be of good cheer. I encourage you today. Some of you are in situations today where Jesus is calling you to another degree. He calling you and telling you, woman of God, you can't be where you are no longer. This place is too small for you. This place is too cursed for you. This place is dog food. You are queen. You are woman that I've chosen for this generation. Let me upgrade you. Number two, every man of God, you've been given the grace for leading from a place of pure living. Every man of God must know as a prophet of God, you've been given the grace for leading from a place of pure living. Saints, whenever God calls a man in the prophet's office, he has entrusted that man with the same holiness the same purity the same righteousness the same anointing let me just talk to one of my sons listen son you just said it's so hard you, you that's why that's why you've been struggling a lot son i can prophesy to you up and down of what you've been doing in the spirit that follow you. You cursing yourself because you saying that it's too hard. Ain't nothing hard up in here. 
You don't want to do that. You just activated by four or five demons just saying it's so hard. Because them spirits say, you hear him, Jesus? He said it's so hard, so we still got right to be here. You said your yoke is easy, your burden is light, but he said that it's so hard. So spiritually, we got right to keep on producing death in his life because he telling you that your word ain't true, but his flesh is true. And that's what... You don't want to do that, son. You got you to gotta be careful what you say. Um... And you don't want to activate demons. You wiser than that. And don't let the devil get a leeway upon you to trick you. Um, the Holy Ghost is upon you, but he not within you. Mm. I'll talk to you later, son. I, I, write, me, write me on the Prophet Joshua Holmes or write me on Facebook at Prophet Joshua Holmes and I'll I talk to you deeper. I talk to you deeper. Number two, a man of God, a prophet of God, rather, has been given an, a, a grace to lead by example, to, to lead from a place of pure living. Lead from a place of pure living. Now, Jesus was what set this off, and a man that's in the prophetic has to differentiate uh, dominion and manipulation. Let me just say this. Dominion and manipulation. Dominion and manipulation. What happens is dominion is a God quality. Manipulation is a witchcraft quality. Um... So a man has to know how to differentiate those both realms as a prophet. That second vein is dominion, manipulation. Manipulation is where, um, that's why you see like pastors can sleep with everybody in their church. That's why you see like men can be having affairs with all the young girls in the church. Uh, that's why you can see that a man can, he can uh, have about four or five babies in, 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 in out of wedlock and, and still be preaching and saying, I don't know about some of y'all, but I can't sit in a ministry and, and take somebody serious when they preaching on certain topics. And I know that they got scandals about the same topics. I can't receive from them and I never will receive from them. That's why. I, if I if I want to hear something, I listen to my tapes. <laughs> I, I kid you not. Manto sanda levasikata. You can call it what you want. <laughs> I, I can't I can't receive from nobody if 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 you if 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 if, if it been out that you did this and that and da 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 da. Listen, I just can't do it. Now now I forgive you. But I still can't hear from you because I then in the listen, some of y'all don't want to be real. In the back of my mind, I'm saying, Well, how the hell you up there preaching about not drinking and you was found drunk by 45 times? How the hell you gonna come tell me about drinking? Or how the how you gonna come tell me about uh uh sleeping with a prostitute, but they found you sleeping with a prostitute. So I just can't take nobody serious. Um, imagine Jesus was telling us, tell the woman, go in peace and sin no more. Imagine if Jesus was found doing the same thing that that woman did. Would you take Jesus serious? If Jesus went, go tell that woman, go in peace and sin no more. And then you see Jesus doing the same thing. Wouldn't you say, Jesus, nah, that ain't, that, I don't but see what Jesus did, saints, he was living by example. I'm talking about the second grace for the man. I'm dealing with the woman and the man. Uh, one and two, the woman has the grace to rule her emotions. Number two, she has the grace to overcome soul ties. The man, he has the grace for dominion. Number two, he has the grace to lead from the place of pure living. Example-wise, man of God and prophet of God, you must know that there are men that are looking up to you. If you fall, they fall with you. Some connections in your life are dominoes. And so when you fall, is a domino effect. 
There are some people that's living for God because they see you living for God. The minute that you fall, their ability to live or their inspiration to live for God falls with you. You never want to be responsible for damaging someone else. Some people will be judged on the day of judgment, not because of just their sin, but because of what their sin produced in others. I said some people on the day of judgment will not just be judged for their sin, but they will be judged for what their sin produced in others. Some people will be judged for not only what they said on social media, but what affected others from what they said on social media. Uh, scary place to be, saints. Scary place to be, saints. Scary place to be, saints. There's three levels of the fear of the Lord that I was telling you that I walk in. Uh... I'm conscious of the eyes of God, I'm conscious of the eyes of angels, and I'm conscious of the eyes of people that I'm assigned to. The assignment to uh, the awareness of God's eyes causes you to move, uh, uh, be in the fear of the Lord. Uh, the eyes of angels cause you to stay in the fear of the Lord. The eyes of, of people that you are assigned to uh, causes you to stay in the fear of the Lord because you don't want them to be corrupted because of you. Lucifer was corrupted not because God was corrupt, but because he was corrupt towards God. So the one third of angels that sinned against God was really the angels that was underneath Lucifer's leadership. Ah. So when Lucifer sinned against God, they believed that because Lucifer had deemed that God was credible to them, when he began to show signs of disrespect towards God, they believed that God wasn't really what Lucifer had told them before, because why would you be doing this if you, you see what I'm saying, saints? The one third of the angels that fell were the one third of the angels that was underneath Lucifer's leadership. So what Lucifer did was he corrupted them off of his corruption. They did not turn against God because they saw any evil in God. They turned against God because they saw Lucifer's reaction to God. And when they saw Lucifer's reaction, they, they saw, okay, you don't believe God no more. You don't fear God no more. You don't trust God no more. You see in the text that Lucifer influenced them with his same mentality. So you as a man of God, you have to be conscious of that as a prophet of God. Your decisions is connected to someone else's vision. Your decision is connected to someone else's vision. Meaning people will begin to see God a certain way by your decision. Especially if they are divinely connected to you. I hope you're taking notes and writing this stuff down, saints. This is some powerful stuff. This is some real deep stuff. This is some real deep stuff. Manto sandalavai. Roto soto korebekiti andaravapoko. You as a prophet of God, you have to be aware of this, that you can become the Lucifer where people are being led to hell off of you. I remember Jesus telling me, he said, son, I want you to have confidence in your anointing because I'm using you to lead people to eternal life. I've heard Jesus say this, so I don't, I don't do ministry because I want to do ministry. I do ministry because I heard God told me to do ministry, so now I want to do ministry. There is a greater anointing upon people that have heard from Jesus about what they're doing currently. See, saints, a leader can't even be effective if he heard Jesus formally. Because you need to hear Jesus currently to be effectively effective currently. The effectiveness of your currently 
is is because you're hearing Jesus currently. If you heard him formally, currently will not be effective. So so there is a stronger anointing upon a prophet or a man of God when they're in a place of hearing God now and not back then. A man must recognize this. Now, saints, you won't be judged on the day of judgment concerning these matters. You don't ever want God to say to you, there was five people that I sent to your life. And because you talked about a man of God, they talked about the man of God and they missed me because of you. Mm, mm, mm. I feel the anointing on this teaching, yo. Man, I got, uh, listen. I got books. I got books locked up in me. The saints, I, I, I can teach you, I can teach you what Jesus teach me for, for, for 40 years and never be tired. Because saints, I got so much secrecy from heaven. You don't want to be guilty for, for the Lord telling you on the day of judgment, that was a man of God, that was a woman of God, and you kept speaking against them, and you influenced four or five people to start looking at them corruptly, and because of you, they started looking at that man, that woman wrong because of you? That's a scary place to be, saints. Man of God, prophet of God, make sure that you live from example. Number three. The grace of a prophetess, she has the grace to shut down gossip. Every prophetess must know this. You have been given the grace to shut down gossip. Every prophetess must know this. Tyree, I hear the Lord saying, Your son, your sins are forgiven you. I hear the Lord telling you, Tyree, that your sins. He said to tell you your sins are forgiven you. Number three, every prophetess has been given the grace to shut down gossip. I'm really feeling a strong anointing. I'm feeling a strong anointing. Every prophetess has the ability to see when a conversation is leaving the spirit and entering the flesh. Every prophetess has a signal within her to catch when a conversation is stepping into the realm of the demonic. Every prophetess uh, has been given a, a impartation from God to catch when a conversation will not bring edification. When a conversation will not, uh, somebody say you feeling bad, just repent. And, and, and let God forgive you and heal you and move you on. You ain't got to feel bad about nothing. Just repent. That's why we serve such a merciful Jesus. Repent, get it over with, and just don't do it again. Number three, every prophetess, she carried the grace to shut down gossip. You have received a censor within you to sense when there's things being said that God does not want to be said. Every prophetess has the grace to shut down gossip, meaning you really have the ability to discern when something is just out of jealousy, is just out of opinion, or it may be something being said to you to keep you from being blessed. How many women won't marry a pastor because they're scared of what other women told them? How many women won't marry a man that God sent to them because they're scared of what, what other people said to them about the man? Or how many women won't, won't make a step on what God telling them to make a step on because someone else is advising them? Or someone else told them, girl, don't go over there because I, I, I went over there myself. The gossip is taking away the gospel. And so you having good news from God but when you speak with somebody, you hearing bad news about the good news that you heard from God. And their bad news is outweighing the good news of, the, of what God told you was going to happen. Every prophetess has the ability to shut down gossip. You never see Mary hanging out with other women about what they had to say about Jesus. 
Oh, Jesus, Jesus. You never see Mary around other women as they was talking about Jesus. No, you see Mary, she kept herself on what she knew about Jesus and she didn't let no other female, no other male corrupt her mind. That's why they was able to stay so close to Jesus. Do you know that it was only Mary that believed the resurrection? It wasn't the disciples. The disciples didn't believe that Jesus would rise from the dead. That's why all of them ran while he was being crucified. You see that the woman stayed by his side. Why? Because Mary, she shut down gossip. Everybody was saying, oh, Jesus is a, he a blasphemer, he a liar, he a this, he a that. No, no, no. What Jesus did was he had imparted into her as a prophetess the grace to shut down gossip. Saints, the Shunammite woman, that's why she was able to stay by Jesus' side from the beginning to the end. Powerful, powerful, powerful. You see that the Shunammite woman, she stayed by Elijah. Why? Because she shut down gossip. Don't think that they wasn't telling her about Elisha. Don't think for one minute people wasn't saying, oh, you got that prophet in your house. He up there. He ain't no real prophet. That's a false prophet right there. You, you got this bald head man in your house and whatnot. And you think for one minute that people wasn't talking in her ear? But she had the grace to shut down uh, gossip. Let me give you another secret. Every prophetess can discern the prophet in a man. A prophetess knows who's a true prophet and who's a false prophet. That's number four. Every prophetess has the grace to discern the real from the fake. A prophetess can see when there's a Jesus in a man and there's a Judas in a man. She can see when a man is just moving off a gift and when he's moving off the shift. She can see, she can see when a man has the character of God and she can see when a man is a barrier towards God. She sees when a man is blocking God. She sees when a man is operating in God. A prophetess can discern the truth from the real. She has a detection system and she's a fruit eater. Every prophetess is a fruit eater. Number four, she, she, she has the ability to discern from the real, the real from the fake, the, the, the gift from the shift, the true prophet from the false prophet. She knows. Why? Because what the Lord does is he causes her to have his same mind towards people. Everybody can be going wild about a man's ministry and that prophetess will sit right there and say that man is a devil. Everybody can be up there chasing and, and going to each conference and she'll sit right at home while everybody at the conference. Everybody could be inviting her to the conference. Can you believe it? They can be telling her, I want you to come to this conference. I want you to come to this meeting. I want you to be at this place. And she'll sit right there and say, no, nah, I ain't going. And they'll be like, girl, you ain't going to the meeting? Everybody going to be there. We going, we going, we, listen, we going to be deep up here. Wigs flying, eyelash falling down, long skirts on deck, peeing on the, 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 the hem of your dress when you're wearing your long dress dustiness all around, no makeup on your face, smelling like Cheetos, uh, and chicken and beans, uh, heels done broken off, acting like it's a praise break, but I got Tourette's syndrome. All oh, that gonna be going on, but then they, 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 they be like, you ain't coming to the conference? No, nah, I ain't coming to the conference. Why? Because the prophetess has the ability to discern between the real man of God, the fake man of God. She has an ability to see. But she not only has the ability to see, she has the ability to feel. Do you know that woman can discern you without seeing nothing about you? That woman would say, I don't feel, I don't, I, I don't feel something right about this. I feel something, I don't, I don't feel something right about this. Sometimes people can invite you to go 
uh, eat somewhere with them and you just be like, I don't feel like I'm supposed to go eat with them today. I just don't. I don't feel like God want me to even go to this church. Sir. I know they invited me, but I don't feel like God want me there. Will God tell you not to go to a church gathering? Yes. Because saints, the church was never a building. The church was the builder. It was Jesus himself. And everybody that will link themselves with Jesus. That's why the Bible says where two or three are gathered in my name. Because saints, there can be a thousand gathered in not the name of Jesus. A prophetess, she carries, number four, that ability to, to discern. That's a grace of discerning the real from the fake, the true man of God, the fake man of God. And number five, let me just say this. The prophetess carry a grace for observation. Listen, woman of God, you can observe stuff prophetically and God will speak to you about what not to do and what to do. A prophetess is not stupid. As a matter of fact, a prophet know a prophetess knows what's going to be prophesied to her before it's even prophesied. That's why it's called confirmation, because she already was sensing. Listen, son ain't right about this thing anyway. I, huh? A prophetess is carrying that grace in order for her. Uh, in order for her to have observation. Observation is where God begins to speak to her through the visual realm. He lets her watch, he lets her see, he lets her study certain things going on and then he gives her the summary of why she saw it. He gives her the summary of why she felt it. He gives her the summary of why she believed the way that she believed. A lot of women have been guilty of shutting down Jesus. Because Jesus is pitting in you a lot of stuff that a lot of people, if you go share with them, they'll say, God will never pit that in your heart. God will never have you do that. God will never have you shut down from this person. God will never have you act like this towards this person. But you are a prophetess and you're not every other woman. You're not every other woman. So so woman, woman can't be pit in the same box as you because you're different. Nor can you go to the average woman and try to find out woman stuff because not everybody has been called to be a prophetess, nor is they carrying that grace for observation. That's why you can see stuff while other people still blind. You can see a witch before the witch say a word. <laughs> Some woman, they be like, witch coming. Listen, ain't nobody said one thing, but all of a sudden they believe there's a witch. Ain't nobody tell them that is a witch, but all of a sudden they know there's a witch coming. Why does that happen? How, how could prophetess be up there knowing that someone is a witch? Because of that grace. That grace for observation lets you see a prophetess. I mean, lets you see a witch. That grace as a prophetess lets you see when when someone is operating in a familiar spirit. Your grace as a prophetess lets you see when. So Listen, and woman of God, you know when others are operating in disobedience, but you also know when yourself is operating in disobedience. A prophetess knows when she's being rebellious. The powerful thing about a prophetess is that she has the grace to not only observe the disobedience of others, but she will observe her own disobedience. Our prophetess knows that she, when she steps out of the will of God, she knows how she feels. She knows when God is giving her the side eye. Our prophetess knows when God is looking at you and saying, girl, really? You just gonna sit here and act like you don't see that? <laughs> you, you, you going up here you 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 gonna out here sit right here and you gonna act like you, you you don't see the dustiness up in here. And some some prophetess they they have been guilty of being stupid because they can be a part of a powerful ministry and go a base to a bootleg ministry. 
And they up in the bootleg ministry up there trying to dance with their chandeliers. And up there, they up there hearing the cymbal. And up there sweating in the church. Ain't no air conditioner in the church. And these people up there trying to play church. And you up there, they up there laying hands, hitting people in the chest, knocking them down. They end up with chest pain. The neck done broke from whiplash because when they got hit down, they went down too quick. And their neck wasn't as strong like a little newborn baby. When the neck not strong and they up there moving the neck, the neck can get hurt if you're not careful. So, you know, then and then and then and then, then they be acting like they don't see the stuff and God be saying, girl, you don't see this here. You left a real anointing for this for this clown for this clown show. You telling me that you rather sit right here and watch this bootleg ministry when I don't pitch you in a place where real ministry is going on. Mm -hmm. But see, a prophetess will know that. A prophetess will know that a prophetess is sensitive to conviction. A prophetess is sensitive to conviction. She might not let other people know, but God will deal with her stronger than the average woman. Somebody say you can't sweat in the church. Now, I mean, they ain't got no money to put no air on. <laughs> And ain't no man won't smell no sweaty woman. <clears throat> I ain't mean to say it like that, but listen. Now, saints, <laughs> listen, there's only, listen, there's laws. <laughs> there's, <laughs> and I know I mess some of y'all religious people up. There is laws for for when a woman has 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 reason. <laughs> Listen, there is laws for when a woman has authorization and, and she has a reason to to be sweating. Listen, that's all I'm gonna say. I put my two fingers up in the air like this. Stop making me laugh. Now, saints, a woman has a woman has that same ability of God to be sensitive to when stuff not right in a place. That prophet has got to submit to that realm. She has to submit to that realm. She has to submit to that realm because the reason why God will convict the prophet is, is not only because he's showing her something. <laughs> Listen, y'all going in on this line. <laughs> Listen, some of y'all prophetic. How many of y'all know what I was talking about when I said that she only got one? <laughs> some of y'all prophetic. How you knew what I was talking about when I told you that she only got one? One place which was she was she uh so saints as a prophetess don't override the conviction of the Holy Spirit. If he if he feeding you deep stuff, don't be up there trying to connect with no ministry that ain't feeding you squad. Don't do that to the Holy Ghost and then expect the Holy Ghost to bless you. What the Holy Ghost was saying, you left a buffet. You you left a buffet for, for, for this. And since you see it all the time, sometimes people they leave the buffet to, to eat something ugly. God saying, nah, I gave you the buffet where you can have all you can eat, and you settle for this nonsense. I see it all the time. Sometimes people be up there playing church and whatnot and and, and people be, be saints and people be up on they, they be up on the they be up on their social media hallelujah i feel the anointing listen i don't feel nothing up in here i don't feel nothing going on up in here all i see a bunch of hyenas jumping around hula hooping and whatnot you think somebody caught the holy ghost now nah, they just tripped over their heels they just tripped over their heels. A shoestring was on the floor. They just tripped and fell down. You think that is the Holy Ghost? Nah, ain't nobody got no Holy Ghost. They just, just tripped down on the floor. 
When God want his anointing to abound, don't settle for a clown. If you take your notes, write that down. When God wants his anointing to abound, don't settle for a clown. You want to stay in that place of seriousness with the Lord? Where the Holy Ghost can anoint you and keep you strong in the anointing as a prophetess. Saints, when I speak to people and I realize that they're acting stupid, I just don't say nothing else. That's how I operate. My silence lets you know that God is interested. And not everybody. You know I'm a busy man. I ain't talking about everybody. But if I'm talking to you like real, I'm in conversation with you and I just... It just means that... Now, saints, I had to learn this personally. I remember there were seasons of my life where God would get silent when I was way younger. And I realized he was getting silent because he was like, son, you know better. What's, you ain't heeding what I told you to do yesterday. You up there acting like you don't know this stuff. You know what I told you. You know what I taught you. Operate in what I taught you. Don't act like you ignorant. Lord, what I'm going to do next? You done heard me tell you where I wanted you to be, how long I wanted you to be there. I done told you what to do. I done told you how to get it done. I taught you a whole season and I let you understand this way. Saints, God will always teach you before he tests you. He never, so saints, when people up there be saying, oh, I failed the test, I'm sorry, Lord, I messed up. No, no, but, but, but what happened was it was a, it was a case of pride because God had already taught you before he tested you. He taught you before he tested you. He taught you before he tested you because before he tested you, he was going to make sure that you had enough information, revelation and impartation to get it done when it was time for the instruction to be released. That's how good God is. That's how good God is. He teaches you before he tests you. So every woman of God must know she's been given a sensitivity, the grace, the sensitive, the grace for sensitivity to conviction. Now, for the man, number one, he got dominion. Number two, he has to live and lead by example. Number three, prophet of God. Don't be so thirsty for a woman to the degree that the nicest woman causes you to miss the will of God for your life. Number three, every prophet of God must know he has the grace not to be fooled by the wrong woman. Let me just say this, men, the only thing that can override a man's discernment is a nice woman. Hmm. Somebody need to write that down. Somebody need to write that down. The only thing that can override a man's discernment is a nice woman. Or a woman that appears to be kind and gentle. Every prophet of God must know that every woman will come off as if she's honoring you. Every woman will come off as if she admires you. Every woman will come off as if she's loyal to you. Number three, I'm talking to my brother. See, I ain't worried about no females on this line. We ain't worried about the females no more. Where the brothers at? And men of God be silent on my line. They just be watching me from a distance. They don't be saying nothing. They just write me in secret. See, men not really expressive like women. That's the problem. That's why men don't really get no prophecy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Most men be up there, they be sitting in the cut. They be like, man, this some real stuff right here, though. This some real stuff right here, though. But they don't say not one word. But woman, they be up there typing, hallelujah, glory. And the man be up there saying, yeah, you can hallelujah, glory all you want. I'm going to watch from this cut right here. <laughs> I'm playing around. Number three, every man must not give in to the nicest woman. Now, every prophet God must know this stuff because number one, especially if you thirsty for a wife, 
the nicest woman will get your attention before the right woman. <laughs> Look, somebody said, <laughs> I'm listening, prophet. I got you. I know. I, listen, I know how the fellas do on this line. I know how the fellas do on this line. I know how the fellas do on this line. I know how the brothers. I'm in the prophetic for the brothers. You know what I'm saying? Listen, saints. So, when you in a place of being thirsty as a man, the first woman that's the nicest to you can become a candidate to become your wife. You don't want that to happen to you. You don't want that to happen to you. You don't want that to happen to you. What will go on is that you make indecisive decisions and inaccurate decisions off of thirstiness for a wife and then experiencing kindness because Jezebel is very kind. Until you step on some Holy Ghost buttons. Jezebel appears kind. Jezebel has the kindest features of harmlessness. Jezebel is the most trickiest spirit that you'll ever come across, man of God. You know why? Because that spirit will honor you the most, but dishonor you the greatest. Oh, that was powerful. Some of y'all need to catch that in, this, in the spirit. You need to catch that in the spirit. Some of y'all really need to take notes on what I just said. I said the Jezebel spirit is so scared because they honor you the most, but dishonor you the greatest. But see, the dishonor come after the honor. The honor is going to precede it because the honor is the access that is going to get to you. The, this, the, the, the honor is how it's going to get to your heart. So every Jezebel is real kind. But after the Jezebel gets leverage, don't feed a monster, man of God. Uh, you as a prophet of God, you must know, don't give the wrong person a platform. Daughter, a man is Pharaoh. A man is Pharaoh if a man is the man that's manipulative is the Pharaoh spirit. Don't give the wrong person a, a, a platform. Uh, you as a prophet of God, especially if God give you an influence in the earth, don't give a wrong person a platform. Don't let a wrong person have the same level of exposure you have if God don't trust them yet. You hear what I said? You hear what I said? Don't give someone the same level of platform you got if God don't trust them yet like he trusts you. Because you have to be a good steward of your platform. There's a reason why God gave you the influence. You may be more humble than them. You may be more pure than them. Your motive may be right. Some people want to be famous. And others want to be blameless. So when you're dealing with people, you got to make sure that you don't give access to people with what you got if God don't trust them. Like he trusts you. He gave it to you. Every prophet of God must know that. Number three, don't be so thirsty for a woman that the nicest woman causes you to miss. Because men get into places where pain can draw you into seeking comfort from the female gender. Pain can make you search out for a woman that will give you at least a little bit of honor. Pain will make a man go in search of even a toxic woman just because she's kind to him. Pain will make a man speak to a woman that he know he's not supposed to speak to just because 
she's not showing signs of attacking him or showing signs of fighting him the way that he experienced in the past. Prophet of God, as a man of God, you must be cautious that you don't get into the place where you are so hurt by life that you become vulnerable to a snake. You hear what I said? I think somebody tried to cuss, but they didn't know how to spell. I'll help you out if you need help. Don't get so hurt by life that you become vulnerable to a snake. And woman of God, take that too. Take that same word for yourself. Don't get so hurt by life that you become vulnerable to a snake. You become vulnerable. Saints, I see everything. I'm like God. You can get so hurt by pain and get hurt by life and things that happen to you that you become vulnerable to the wrong hands. That's what happened with Samson. Saints, let me give you a secret about Samson. His best friend had took his girlfriend in the past. So he was hurt. Now, some of y'all ain't catching me. I said his best friend had took his girlfriend in the past. He was with a woman. They had a strong relationship. And he went with the woman. What happened, Samson was really bitter. Samson was really hurt. So when he met Delilah, think about that. When he met Delilah, all of a sudden Delilah was giving him the kindness that he wanted. Delilah was giving him the comfort he wanted. Delilah was giving him the recognition he wanted. Because number one, he just came out of a relationship where he was with a woman. He invested in a woman. The woman heard him. She went with another man. But the man happened to be his best friend. Uh, that's a painful thing, saints. That's a, that's, a, uh, that's a painful thing. His son, or, or, or his friend rather, his friend went with the same woman that he was with. And she, she cheated on him with his best friend. Saint Samson was a hurt man. He goes to Timna, he has sex with a prostitute. The man is hurting. But his biggest mistake was he didn't go to the God that anointed him. He went to women that were nice to him. Uh, saints, I'm giving you something deep here. I'm giving you something deep here. I'm giving you something deep here. If you're on this line, I want you to invite all your followers. Share this broadcast wherever you are. I want you to invite everyone. Invite, I pray, and receive the prophet's reward on your life, wherever you are. I want you to invite your followers. Wherever you are, I want you to invite your followers. This is some real deep stuff. This is real powerful. This is real powerful. God bless everyone. Love you in Jesus. God bless your life, every single person. This must be preached. This gospel of the kingdom must be preached. Saints, we reached over 1.3 million people this week. 1.3 million people was reached today by the gospel. All oh, saints that love would abound. That love would abound. That love would abound. That you'll become more like Jesus. That you'll become more like Jesus. This should be your prayer this week. That you'll become more like Jesus. All oh, that love would abound. That's why I hear the Holy Spirit saying to me. I hear him loud and clear. Oh, that love would abound. Oh, that love would abound. That you'll be more like Jesus as a woman. 
you'll be more like Jesus as a man. You'll be more like Jesus. You'll be more like Jesus, saints. Saints, God, he got too much failures. Now he's looking for people that will get his preference done. Get his desire done. All that love would abound. That Jesus would be able to fulfill his nature in you. Fulfill his person in you. Fulfill his presence in you. Saints, you don't want to be filled with anger or anything against anybody. One thing that I've noticed with my life is that Jesus never has me get angry at people for long periods of time. The Bible says don't let the sun go down on your wrath. There are times when God amps me up and he lets me see things from his point of view. But ultimately, when me and God speak as a summary of the matter, we forgive And we both let go. Saints, I remember Jesus telling me, he said, son, you're not working for me. You're working with me. He said, son, don't never let me hear you telling some you working for me. You ain't working for me. You're working with me. I'm up in here with you. We up here doing this same assignment together. He said, why you think I'm talking to you? Because this is my assignment too. He said, this ain't, this ain't just your ministry. This is my ministry too. I'm up in here. That's why I'm telling you what to do, calling the shots. Since I had a vision as I stand in the presence of God, as I stand in the presence of the Holy Ghost, I had a vision and I saw this. I saw me ministering something on Periscope that was so profound this week. I saw it. I saw it in my sleep. And I, I, when I woke up, I was on fire. I was like, oh, that was a dream. But I saw it. The Bible said the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Saints, I ain't doing this stuff just because. And saints, I, man, I'm anointed for what? Saints, all this week, I want some of y'all to know that the Holy Ghost having you do what you do. There's a special grace upon you to be Holy Spirit led and to only do the things God wants you to do this week. The power of God going to be upon you for accuracy in your decisions. Accuracy in your thoughts. Accuracy in your ways. Accuracy in your prophecy. Accuracy in all that you do. Accuracy. Is there a someone on this line with your last name Johnson? Is there somebody on this line your last name is a Johnson? If your last name is just Johnson, just let me know. I'm Johnson. I'm Johnson. I'm Johnson. I'm Johnson. I'm Johnson. But let accuracy be all around you. Let God knit in you his ways, his person, his presence. And let the Holy Spirit take over your life. Keisha Johnson, this is the greatest season of your life. Listen, the Holy Ghost is about to do something mighty. The Lord said that there's some financial things that he's going to do for you and some living arrangement things that he's going to do for you. The Lord said that there's favor coming to you in the realm of the work of your hands. Holy Spirit said that he's going to bless you and this is your week for blessings and grace. The Lord said that you shall decree a thing and it shall be established for you this week. The, and be blessed. The other Johnson bless you in the name of Jesus. God going to do amazing things for you. 
there's, there's somebody with like the name A. I keep seeing the A initial. Now God gonna do something mighty for Johnson. He just he just showed me that uh, Keisha Johnson. Uh, your name is Brooke Keisha, but people call you by that nickname also, Keisha. Kiki. Now there's someone with an A, like a Amina, like an A M E A M E and. But saints, there is a mighty anointing going to come to your life. I like that y'all pin in prophetic gymnastics. Y'all better, y'all better do that thing. Manto sando boko sapaya ba, vere dolo boko da bababasiye, rondo no vosiki diala, mesh te pandeleosa, seko talavai, mesh to kondele vekis to pondeleasa. Wherever you are, just pray in the Holy Spirit. Jesus, we exalt you. We exalt you today. We magnify you today. We exalt you today. We give you praise today. Jesus, I praise you for what you're doing in the life of your people. I praise you for what you're doing in the life of your people. Jesus, I as a faithful steward of this prophecy, anointing this spirit of prophecy, and this prophet's office, I pray that everyone on this line will experience a blessing this week. I pray that everybody on this line will experience favor this week. I pray that everybody on this line will experience good news. Everyone, I want you to hold your phone. I want you to hold your phone wherever you are. Some of you are watching me on your phone, that's fine. But those of you are watching by laptop ipad get your cell phone i decree and i declare in jesus name over your cell phone good news shall come to you lord i pray that wherever their miracle is favor is grace is glory is provision is lord let good news come to their cell phones in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Saints, there's so much miracles that happen in JHM. It's, it's overwhelming. There's people receiving miracle money. This hundred days of miracle. And people giving testimony of miracle money. Supernatural things happening. Because, saints, we in the atmosphere of angels. God told me to release these angels in these hundred days. We are in a dimension of the power of God. There's a supernatural realm of God flowing upon the earth. And Jesus prophetically has given me the sensitivity to catch it, the time frame to catch it. In the name of Jesus Christ, wherever you are, favor and grace be upon you. Favor and grace be upon you. Favor and grace be upon you. I prophesy to your phone. In the name of Jesus Christ. May good news come to your phone. May good reports come to you that will shock you. May the Holy Ghost arrest every individual that is a part of the equation for your miracle. May the Holy Ghost arrest every single person that is a part of the divine equation for your miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. May angels be loosed in your situation. May angels come. Manto Sanda Lavaya. May angels be released urgently to begin to war for you, to begin to fight for you, to begin to establish the atmosphere of God, the blessings of God in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I send forth legions of angels to your life to eradicate every demonic power, every demonic yoke, every demonic stronghold. May the angel of the Lord go forth right now and jack them up. In Jesus' name, angels, I pray for those connected to me right now. What you do for me, do for them. Bring a special realm of victory right now. 
bring a special realm of victory right now. Wherever they are, angels, I pray that you would arrest every demonic power in principality that been holding them up, hindering them, blocking them, delaying them in the name of Jesus Christ. May there be a deliverance in their life that will shock them. This week, Lord, let there be every day filled with miracles. Lord, I pray that they would have eyes to see what you're doing, that they won't miss your favor, that they won't miss your favor. Saints, remember I was just at the, the, the um, blessed be God, I called it the washer and dryer. <laughs> I was at the car wash. You see, I got money to pay, but the man said, I'm paying for your, 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 car, your, 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 your vehicle to be washed. In the name of Jesus Christ, may you receive miracles that you don't even need. May you receive help from areas where you don't even need it. May somebody encourage you even though you encourage. May somebody give you money even though you got money. May someone give you divine connection even though you feel like you're fine. May someone give you a, a compliment even though you're confident. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray in specific for you that today will be the last day that you are sorrowful. Today is the last day that Satan will be allowed to operate in your presence. That today is the last day where you'll begin to feel as if the blessing will not overtake you. I pray for you this day. I pray for you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those of you on this line, receive miracles receive favor receive deliverance receive open heavens over your life receive the goodness of god overtaking you receive grace receive good news in jesus name any foul and unclean spirit that been sent to torment your body your soul your spirit or your finances I command them out in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command them out. Wherever you are, receive good reports in your life. Receive the blessing of the Lord overtaking you. Receive God making you the head and not the tail. Receive God making you above and not beneath. Receive God exalting you because you're humbling yourself on the need of his mighty hand. This is the time for miracles wherever you are. Wherever you are, this is the time for miracles. Receive grace to never smoke again, drink again, watch pornography again, masturbate again. Receive grace to never argue again, fight again, create strife again, be jealous again, gossip again. Receive grace to never miss God again, to walk perfectly with God. This is our anointing. May you receive deliverance from spiritual husbands right now in Jesus' name. Receive deliverance from wet dreams right now in Jesus' name. Receive deliverance from asthma. Receive deliverance from emphysema. Receive deliverance from pain in your body. Migraine headaches. Lack of eyesight. Be healed in Jesus' name. Receive healing from kidney issues. Receive healing from heart conditions. Receive healing from arthritis, pains. Receive deliverance from insomnia, restlessness, not being able to sleep at night. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive deliverance. Receive deliverance. Receive deliverance. Manto, Sando, Leka, Taraba, 
Vola Kusiveke. I feel a seven hour marathon scope this week. I feel a seven hour marathon scope this week. I feel it. I feel the same anointing. Those of you on this line receive the grace of God for deliverance in your situation. Receive good news, good reports, blessings overtaking your life from this moment forth. Wherever you are, I pray for you. I touch and agree with you. That deliverance will come to your life right now. There are some of you on this line, you have... The, listen, I'm seeing this rash on your body. I'm seeing this rash on your body. It's, it's called a rash. You have a rash on your skin. In the name of Jesus, receive healing from rashes on your skin. Receive healing from heat rashes. Receive healing from... Uh, eczema receive healing in Jesus mighty name some of you all keep having these breakouts on your face your face just keep on having breakouts some of you don't know it's spiritual in the name of Jesus Christ be healed I call that out right now receive it and take it every lung condition on this line right now in Jesus name receive healing from every lung condition in Jesus' name, whatever demon has been sent to bother your breathing, I cancel it. I cancel it and I destroy it by fire. Receive healing in your lungs, in your breathing, in your oxygen. Wherever you are right now, receive healing. In Jesus' mighty name. Saints, wherever you are, receive your healing. Receive your healing. Eye conditions are being healed right now. In Jesus' name, eye conditions are being healed. Your eyes are being healed. Your eyes are being healed. Your eyes are being healed right now. Mando Saya. Vero Kolavabasa. Velekili Vekolavaya. Somebody's testifying my face broke out terribly. Your eyes are being healed. Your eyes are being healed. Wherever you are, there's a healing coming to your eyes. Receive it right now in Jesus' mighty name. There's someone with hearing issues. Your issue with hearing in Jesus' name. Receive your healing from deafness in your ears, not the full capacity of volume. In Jesus' name, be healed be healed there is someone on this line you you've been having these issues where your hip down through your back area been going through stiffness and pain it's like it goes down from your back to your hip area that issue right now in Jesus name God is healing it receive the healing from your back going down to your hip in Jesus name saints the anointing is strong just receive what you need from God right now the anointing is strong just receive what you need from God right now God is doing the work supernaturally now it's not by might nor by power and that's what's going to take place in your body some of you are going to feel warmth some of you are just going to feel your heart beating fast a lot of times God when he touching you or he talking to you your heart start beating real fast you might feel a sensation you might not feel a sensation the Holy Spirit is going to be doing amazing things in your body you will have a testimony I feel an anointing to pray for you right now because things are happening Things are going to start happening for you in your life. As I'm praying for you right now, things are going to start moving for you. There's an anointing here. There's an anointing here.
there's an anointing here. There's an anointing here. The Holy Spirit is doing the work for you. I'm praying for different areas of your life because when the power of God comes, as I decree as a prophet of God, the angels are going forth with my decrees over your life. And there are people testifying that my eyes are feeling better. My eyes are feeling better. Lord, may you perfect the healing concerning everybody. The eyes, the back. Rosto tolovo koste pe pilo koseve vala dele vekandele mandola bokora bandele vesia Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I pray for every single one that needs physical healing in their body Receive your healing in Jesus name Receive healing in your body Receive healing in your body Receive healing in your blood. Some of you all, you have this STD that you want to be free from. You have this vaginal issue that you want to be free from. You have this uh, issue in your genitals. It's private. It's not, it's not something that you share with people. In Jesus' name, take the anointing and receive your healing right now. The Lord is having mercy upon you. Receive your healing wherever you are in Jesus' name. The anointing is getting stronger. The anointing is getting stronger. My body just went numb. God sent me these symbolisms to let me know when the power of God hit in such a degree, people can receive it. Wherever you are, receive your healing. Receive healing in your body. Receive healing in your body. Receive healing in your body. In Jesus' name, Lord, I release the glory. I release your instant power upon their life. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. I lose angels concerning things that have been stagnant in your life. Wherever your life has been at a standstill right now, I decree and I declare angelic ministry concerning your life. I decree and I declare angels concerning your life that your life will begin to move. I pray for any demon spirit that has been holding you up in the name of Jesus Christ that spirit be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost. The the Holy Ghost. That spirit that been keeping you from reaching every financial place you were supposed to be, spiritual place you were supposed to be, marriage place you were supposed to be, mental place you were supposed to be, in Jesus' name, that spirit is broken, is destroyed by fire. By the power of the Holy Ghost, receive favor this week. All this week, receive favor. Receive favor all this week. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive favor all this week in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive favor. Receive favor at your workplace. Receive favor in your business. Receive favor in the work of your hands. Receive favor in your finances. Receive favor in relationships. Favor in everything that you put your hands to do. Favor in your footsteps. Favor in your decisions. Favor in your path. Favor in everywhere you go. Favor in whatever you've been praying for. Favor in your petitions. Favor in your desires. Favor in your worship. Favor in your anointing. Favor, favor, favor in your gifting. Favor, favor, favor in your entrepreneurship. Wherever you are, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may you receive favor. Receive favor all this week. Favor, favor in your traveling. Favor in your transportation. Favor wherever you are. Favor, favor, favor. Receive favor in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare favor. 
I decree and I declare favor. I decree and I declare favor. I declare favor over you. Favor wherever you go. Favor in your conversation. Favor with who you meet. Favor. God will send people to favor you all this week. Favor with your boss. Favor with your family. Favor with, with every realm of life in Jesus' name. I pray for favor right now. I pray for favor right now. Favor in the realm of your Boaz. May you meet your Boaz. Man, I'm drunk. May you meet your Boaz. May you meet your Esther. May you meet your wife. May you meet your husband. In Jesus' mighty name. The right man of God. The right woman of God. The right person that God has put in your life. In Jesus' name. The one that will love you. The one that will cherish you. In Jesus' name. I pray I release an anointing right now for you to meet your divine marriage, for you to meet your sweet marriage this week. Wherever you are, saints, I pray a special anointing upon your life right now for sweet marriage to come upon your life. Wherever you are, Lord, I release their spouse to them, the person that you have anointed to love them, a divine twin. In Jesus' mighty name, receive sweet marriage. Receive sweet marriage. Receive sweet marriage wherever you are. Receive sweet marriage wherever you are. Receive sweet marriage coming to your life. From this moment forth, receive sweet marriage. May you have it. May you experience it. May it penetrate your life. From this moment forth, may you have victory concerning matters where someone hurt you, may someone healed you. Where someone cheated on you, may someone be loyal to you. Where someone abused you mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, may someone give you security. May someone give you confidence. May someone give you uh, uh, stability in your person. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Saints, I hear people preach all this stuff. And people be preaching all this stuff. It be sounding good. They be like, oh, no man can give you no security. Only God can give you security. Let me give you a secret, woman of God. God used a man. You read your Bible. The Bible said that man, woman was created for man. So a lot of you women, you're looking for security from, a, from God. And that's a good place for you to be. You're looking for uh, the place of stability from God. That's a good place for you to be. But don't be surprised when he uses a man in your life to be a blessing to you. Don't be surprised when he uses a man in your life to represent him to you. I hear a lot of people say a lot of stuff. Oh, I, I'm all right. Listen, but girl, you still be using that vibrator when you get ready. Girl, you still be up there, up there, low key. So in, in, in some cases, you say one thing, and I ain't talking about every woman, but in other cases, you experience certain backlashes because you won't let God have his way. And so you as a woman just understand God uses the man of God to be a blessing to you. He uses the man of God to be Jesus to you. He uses the man of God to be financial security for you. And woman, don't stay with no man. Don't stay with no man. That's not Jesus to you. I don't know why people be up there trying to preach you into dustiness and have you up there staying in all these relationships. God don't even be approving a of the relationship, but you be sitting right there and, and, and you, you wonder what's going on with your life. God got so much more for you. God got so much more for you, woman of God. 
and 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 the truth is a woman was created for a man so a woman has some assignment to a man whether it's to be the mother listen we see that jesus had mary and mary was a mother to him her assignment was to the man called jesus we see that Esther was, Esther was assigned to that king. We see that Ruth was assigned to that Boaz. Every woman of God must know that. You have a special place in this life. You have a special place in this life. And you want to be cautious that you don't stop God from how he want to bless you. You don't want God stopping you. Or, or, or you don't want to stop God from giving you the full package. Saying some of y'all need to pray like this. Lord, I receive whatever you have for me. In Jesus' name. I ain't going to be dusty no more. I ain't going to be dusty no more. I receive what you have for me. There's a man out there somewhere looking for you. There's a man somewhere looking for you. And saying some people be up there all super scared to talk about sex. Number one, God created sex. What you scared for? Saints, I ain't scared to talk about nothing that God created. Saints, the only time you got to get nervous about something is when you up there illegal. God created sex, saints. What you scared for? You got the parts. You just need the connection. Man on man and woman on woman ain't going to work. God got something for your life. You just got to say yes and receive. Say yes and receive. The Lord got something for your life. Just say yes and receive. Saints, may sweet marriage come upon you. 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 Now, saints, the woman of God is so beautiful. Now, listen, a woman of God is the most beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? Because what happens is the woman of God carries such a, a side of Jesus that's so beautiful and, and, and so amazing. Even a woman of God is a classroom. If you study a woman of God, you'll learn so much stuff spiritually. You'll study so much stuff spiritually. Let me say it like this. God created sex. The devil created your ex. Some of y'all catch that later. That was a word for somebody. Take that word and run with it. Be free. Be free. Be free. I'm going to say it one more time. God created sex, but the devil created your ex. That's a word for somebody. You need to be free. Now, woman of God, man of God, why are you in all these booty car relationships? Some of y'all on this line, you have you having all these booty car relationships. You know it ain't right. But you wonder who going to see me. I'm hearing God tell me I need to get out of this, but who's going to see me? You better go free. You go better go free while you can. You better go free. You got to go free while you can. The Holy Ghost, he be knowing what worse going to happen. He know what worse. Let's say it's a little like my hair on fire. Don't look like my hair on fire right there. Say, do y'all see that? <laughs> say, is that me? That probably just me. Listen, say, did it? Since it looked like my hair on fire, right? Saints, now watch this here. I remember I told you all. You remember I told you I told Jesus. <laughs> I told Jesus that the glory cloud done came. I said, Lord, could you send fire on the line? Saints, it look like my hair on fire. And I said, Saints, is that just me or that's you? Okay. But anyways, that's what it look like. It look like fire on my head. 
manda la va cosaya. All right. So, now say somebody snapshot me and send me the screenshot. <laughs> somebody, somebody snapshot me and send me the screenshot. Snapshot and send me the screenshot on Twitter or something. Okay, send me the snapshot on Twitter. Send me the snapshot on Twitter. Now, woman of God, man of God, you just be open to what God gonna do for you. Just know, don't, don't, don't stay in no old relationship and curse the blessing that God wanna give you. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Wherever you are, let the Lord bring the right man to you that's going to treat you right. And the right woman to you that's going to treat you right. Don't settle for less. Don't settle for less. Wherever you are, let God give it to you. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for every single person. I pray for every single person on this line, Lord. Let there be a mighty move of the Holy Ghost. This week, Jesus, I pray, I pray, I pray. As I do in secret for them, I do it also in public. Lord, touch their life all over. Father, I pray for every single person. May they experience the favor of God. The favor of God in every area, financially, mentally, spiritually, maritally. I pray for the release. I pray for the release. I pray for the release this week in Jesus' name. I pray for the release, especially for those that are connected to me. Those that are connected to me real strong. I pray for them, Lord. I pray for them, especially as I prayed in secret, Lord. I pray in public. I release a special anointing for favor this week. Favor this week in all that they do. Favor this week in everywhere they go. Favor all this week. I'm hearing the Holy Ghost say that this is a favor week for you. The Lord calls this favor week. Somebody said my leg stopped hurting. The Holy Ghost. La katalava. Ze katalava kopos. Ilo bokole va baba. Vele dolo bokora babandie. Zere vedile kusua lavai. Roste pandele aso. Zaka sereve de leva cola vabas. Iro cola vabaca sitele. Lubo condele amasa. Soro coraba. Let me say something to uh, somebody say pray for me. Daughter, Simon. Simon, you tell me to pray for you. But you, you don't know how to be still. You got the 45 ministry that you connected to. How you gonna receive a my anointing and you 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 wayward? The anointing flow through focus. Daughter, if you if you want God to be a blessing to your life, be still and know that He God. Be still and know that He God. Let give position yourself for Him to bless you. You can't be running up every which way. The Holy Ghost got special blessing for you, but he needs you to be still. The Lord said, everyone, this is the week of favor. He called it the favor week. He called it the favor week. He called it the favor week all this week. Favor is going to follow you. I decree and I declare this over you. This is a favor week for your life. This is a favor week for your life. Saints, everybody on this line, as you are where you are, say, Lord, I receive favor this week. 
I receive favor this week. I receive favor this week. I receive favor this week. Wherever you are, I receive favor wherever I go with whatever I do. I receive favor. Wherever you are, saints, I want you to decree this all this week. You see, some people saying my eyes are healed. Some people receiving healing. That's right. Receive it is easy. Receive it is easy. Zemon, you said that you don't watch no other ministry. Zemon, what about the pastor that you still on and off with? You don't consider that pastor and, and that and that that affiliation a ministry, or they bootleg. The one that you had all them troubles with. Huh? You don't consider that a ministry. Then the Lord say you got inconsistency, say more. You you one minute you 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 you're on JHM, the next minute you're somewhere you 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 done gone. You done went away astray. Choose this day whom you gonna serve. Choose this day so God can bless you. Con remain connected to remain protected. I I heard one of one of our awesome prophets say that statement. It's powerful. Remain connected to remain protected. Saints, I know I don't know why some of y'all when I be prophesying to you, you be trying to act like you don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know why some of y'all be doing that. Some of y'all be acting like you don't know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. God and all the holy angels know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Saints, those of you on this line, God is going to do amazing miracles for you. I pray for you this week. I release miracles on your life this week. Favor this week. Blessings on your life this week. All over. Wherever you are, let me let me see if I can finish before I go though. Saints, we dealing with we dealing with. See, daughter saying what? Then she said, "I know what you're saying." Daughter, come on now. <laughs> come on, daughter. Come on with it. Come on. Come on. Saying something, something be wrong with people. I, I don't know what to be telling people. People just be dying to nine. God, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Saints, I ain't playing around. I, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You heard what I said on this line. You heard exactly what I said. You heard the prophecy. You heard exactly what I just said. You can take it how you want it. You heard what I said, daughter. You heard what Jesus said to you, too. You heard what Jesus said to you, too. He telling you if you want to be blessed, heed the word of the Lord. You heard, you heard what he said. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. Manto loko sevekalai. Velo kodava babasia. Sekan televo kodava. I feel such a such a mighty move of God that's going to take place in your life this week. Miracles are happening right now. There's people testifying. There are miracles happening right now. Wherever you are, there are miracles happening right now. Wherever you are, whatever you need from God, receive it. Take it. Take the anointing of God right now. Wherever you are, I pray for you. I release the anointing upon you. I release grace to your life. I release favor to your life. Wherever you are. Now, let me let me let me finish what I was saying. Let me finish what I was saying. When we deal with the number 6 grace 
for a prophetess. A prophetess has a grace from God to not throw in the towel before her harvest comes. She has a grace from God not to throw in her towel before her harvest comes. Every woman of God, every prophetess rather, must catch this, that you have been given the grace to not throw in the towel before your harvest comes. Don't look at situations to define God's ability towards you. Your situation does not decide God's ability towards you. Your situation does not decide God's ability towards you. God's ability towards you is greater than your situation. Don't look at stuff that's happening to you. And use that stuff as a link to what God is going to do for you. Look at the anointing and the power of Jesus. Every prophet has the grace not to look or to get discouraged because of her season of waiting before her harvest. That grace been given to every prophetess. Every prophetess must stay faithful to that grace and be a good steward of that grace not to be discouraged. Saints, why do you think that God picked the woman with a process of bearing a baby for nine months? You have the grace of patience. Why do you think that when someone is having uh, uh, they having the baby come out and the baby, the, 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 the birthing process may take 18 hours. Why do you think that happened? You've been given the grace for patience. God has given you the grace for patience. Keep that grace upon your life and don't let it be tampered with. Don't let it be crushed. Don't let it be fooled with. The devil will trick you. How many times was God about to give you a financial miracle and he said, wait, they ain't ready yet. They just, they just stopped doing it. How many times God was going to give you a husband and he said, wait, she ain't ready for no husband yet. Look at her. She's still crazy as hell right now. I'm trying to stop you from being crazy as hell. Something wrong with you. You up there got mood swings. You up there, up there crazy and whatnot. God be like, why are you crazy like this? I'm trying to give you a man of God. You, but I can't give you no man of God with you acting like this. The man of God up there got to figure out every nine minutes what's going on with you. Baby, you all right? Nah, I'm okay. Like, what's wrong? You all right? And so make sure that you always in that place. <laughs> I'm getting a call from one of my prophets. One of my prophets calling me. So make sure you're in that place all the time, 24-7. Don't, don't, don't miss your blessing off of a... Off a now watch this. Do you know that... Uh, do you know that even your attitude can mess up your harvest? How many favor that God wanted to do for you that was stopped because of your attitude. Let me ask you that, prophet is woman of God. How many, how many favors did God want to do for you, but he had to stop it because you had the wrong attitude? How many times did God want to bless you, but he couldn't bless you because of your attitude? How many times did God want to, want to release deliverance to your life? But as <laughs> somebody said, prophetic gymnast. But he couldn't do it. Why? Because of the situation. Your attitude was out of out of whack. Saints, your attitude can mess up favor with God. Your attitude can mess up favor with God. Saints, I knew this a long time ago. That's why I started obeying God. I started uh, being more sensitive to my my attitude. Because your attitude is a conversation with God. Do you know that? Your attitude is a conversation with God. 
Your attitude is a conversation with God. Your attitude will speak to God when you ain't saying that. The devil fight woman in this attitude realm. You don't want to mess up something good because of your bad attitude. Saints, I got something about me. When I see bad attitude, I just leave. I just leave. I don't, I don't even be rebuking nobody. I don't. You'll never see me rebuke nobody for no. I, I just, I just leave. I ain't gonna fight you. I ain't gonna bite you. I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm just gonna leave. Saints, I, I believe that if I can control myself, you should control yourself too. See, saints, I'm different than most people. I don't make excuses for people. Cause I know I. I, I know that I'd be confronted with the same stuff, but I just make wise decisions. I'm saying it's, it's hard for you to justify flaw when you ain't just like that flaw. You done switch systems. You done switch kingdoms. You done switch mindsets. You done switch spirits. I'm saying it's which spirit you listening to? Because that's the, 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 the demon spirit will have you all on your feelings and have you... Ah, I'm gonna do like this. I'm a, I'm a. But when you get to the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost be like, this is not worth it. Encourage yourself in the Lord. This is not worth it. Meditate on some scriptures. This is not worth it. Praise God. This is not worth it. Forgive Him. This is not worth it. Give me thanks. Find something to give me thanks for. Stir, stir up the gift of God in you. Stop looking at all the wrong stuff in your life. That ain't going to give you no blessing. Saints, the, one of the greatest tricks of the devil is have you focusing on all the stuff going wrong in your life. You ask somebody how they doing. Oh, I'm hanging on. What the, What you, what you uh, curious, George? What you hanging for? You done turn into a monkey? You ain't hanging on to nothing. This is a walk. We ain't hanging on to nothing. We walking like soldiers up in here. We ain't hanging on to nothing. We walking like soldiers up in here. The devil wants saying he don't ain't gonna walk over. He gonna limp right back. You carrying the power of God. Don't be telling us I ain't holding on. I'm hanging on. You not no monkey. God done gave you grace and power. He done gave you a special anointing. He done gave you a special, special impartation. You moving on with Jesus now. You run this thing. Who you think run this thing? You run this thing. You call the shots. You call those things that be not as though they were. You're not no wimp trying to get victory. You the victory over the wimp. You got the victory over that wimp. Satan is a liar. God gave you that fire. Jesus already went to the cross and crushed every spirit that would come against your mind, will, and emotion. Don't let no demon spirit mess with your mind, woman, or God, and your emotions that you all sympathizing with stuff. Some women, they just cry for no reason. Sometimes you got to tell them, woman, stop crying and make somebody look like I'm beating on you. <laughs> I'm saying sometimes, sometimes women just be emotional for no reason. Girl, what? Now, saints, I'm just talking in general. I ain't talking about nobody specific. I'm just talking in general. Because you know I'm prophesying through this teaching. So, some women, they, they find stuff to cry about. Oh, I don't know why. I don't know why my ends got cut off this weekend. I don't know why I don't see no new growth. You crying about something and it ain't nothing happened to you. God been good to you. God done saved you from, from so much stuff. There was there was stuff planned for your life and he blessed you. There was stuff that was planned to take you out before this year, way long ago. And Jesus kept you alive and he been protecting you from so much stuff. Some of you ladies, you single, God been protecting you from so much stuff you can't see. You get with the wrong stick. I mean, you get with the wrong man. Stuff. Listen. 
<laughs> you might not be going in drive. You might go in reverse. You better thank God sometimes that he got you single. You don't know what, what that singleness, what that blessing is to you. But as a woman of God, as a prophetess, you're going to have to really be conscious of all those things and give God thanks. You have dominion. You have dominion over discouragement. Dominion over discouragement. <laughs> somebody, said, somebody said, get out my business. <laughs> so saints, we praise God. Listen, sometimes God be protecting you. Praise him. And, and listen, God be real protective over prophetess because even a prophetess, she can fall prey to a lot of stuff spiritually because men would try to override a prophetess too and try to sweet talk them. And up there talking, baby, I love you. Well, what, what, what's love got to do with it? What else? Do you love God? How many women do that? How many women do that? How many, how many, how many of y'all do that? How many of you ask, ask the man, do you love God? Ask the man, what God told you about your life? If he up there studying, listen, that ain't the one for you. Listen, don't get with no man that don't got a plan. Don't get with a man that don't get a don't got a plan. Don't get with a man that don't got a plan. If he ain't got no vision, most likely he ain't got no provision. A woman not really supposed to work. <laughs> A woman not really supposed to work no way. The woman just worked because God is, is positioning her to receive her promotion, her graduation, to becoming a helpmeet to her to her man. A man of God. A woman not really supposed to work. That's why most women. Most women be crying out. But that's why a woman of God must understand the number seventh grace. Every prophetess carries her own deliverance herself. Number seven. Every prophetess carries a measure. Let me say it like this. A measure of her own deliverance herself. Why? Why? Because you, your, your wisdom is high. You know what to do to get a miracle. You know the financial laws. You know praying laws. You know if you don't pray, woman or guy, you're going to end up tempted, thirsty. With a different type of water moving in you. You ain't drenched with the right water. You the wrong type of wet. You know what happens if, if, if you don't stay in a place of prayer and fast. And all these demonic thoughts start messing with your mind. You carry a measure of your own deliverance. You know what happened to you. See, some of you women, you, you shocked that I'm talking like this. You need to hear this stuff so that you can identify Women have the wrong type of wet. You, instead of you being drenched in the water of the world, you drenched in, in, in lust and loneliness and you want somebody to hold you. And God trying to tell you, calm yourself down right now. I want to get you right so that when you get with your man of God, everything can be all right. Everything can be blessed. Everything can be full of faith. That's what God be trying to tell you. He be trying to get you right because prophet is when 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 you're doing the work of the Lord, the Lord gonna have to have you with a soldier mentality. You gotta be a soldier. Most women of God need to know that God be looking for you to be a soldier. You you know that woman of God, you're a soldier. And you can't be dropping the ball. You're really a soldier for God. And 
the power of God. You know what's so funny to me? Everybody and their mama done wrote me because they thought that I blocked them on Facebook. Now, no, but I'm serious though. <laughs> no, I mean people and their mama. Everybody and their mama done wrote me. Listen, listen, I don't know how I'm a, listen. Everybody and their mama done wrote me, Prophet, what did I do to you? Listen. For those that didn't hear, I, I, for those that of uh, y'all that didn't hear, I, I'm making another one. You know, I'm making another one, but God told me to delete that. There was some reason. He told me, you know, he gave me some details. He told me to delete that and, and to do another one. Um, God likes new. God likes new. God getting a new heaven, a new earth. The, the heaven never got crusty or dusty. So why God getting a new heaven? Because he like new. God loves new stuff. And so he told me to just get a new um, get a new uh, page and uh, get rid of that one okay saints I didn't block nobody no will I ever block you you know what I'm saying we family even those of you are that keep coming around the mountain every four or five minutes and then you leave then you go straight and you come right back there's nothing be wrong with you in your head uh I still love you too. You know, I don't even block you. You know what I'm saying? I just keep the door doors of the church open. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you realize that you don't want to eat the dog bone no more to come back home. You know what I'm saying? Uh, coming around the mountain saints and whatnot. Saints, I be having people write me and they be like, oh, prophet. I love you. I'm sorry. And people up there, they do all this stuff. They do all this stuff. Then, blessed be God. Then you realize afterwards that somebody was godly sent to your life. Saints, just calm down. Before you say anything, do anything, calm down and say, Holy Ghost. What you think about this prophet Joshua Holmes? Is this your prophet? Is this your man? Is you having him minister to my life? And man, that my prophet right there. Ask the Holy Ghost. And saints, don't be up there running with the first impression you get because some of y'all can't really hear God. Some of y'all really can't hear God. Some of y'all be saying God tell you stuff and you be lying because you don't even know his voice yet. So calm yourself down and wait for about a good three out four hours. <laughs> Wait for about a three, uh, a good three, four hours before you before you act, because some of y'all can't hear God. <laughs> so wait by three, four, the the three, let it marinate. Give Jesus a good the three, four hours. Yeah, I'm talking about be still. Don't watch nothing. Don't do nothing for about a good three, four hours. That's right. Fast about for two days. Fast. Get food out you, because some of y'all make wrong decisions with food. So make sure that you take time to get your spirit right in this season and be cautious. Be cautious of demons that come to take you away. Demons that come to take you away. Now, saints, uh, God bless everyone. I continue with the man side and another side. Men don't be shouting no way. I, I got I got few for I got few men that that that's connected to me that be that that, that ain't scared of the public. But uh, um, also. Uh, <laughs> somebody said, did you come to Houston? No, I didn't come to Houston. No, I ain't come to Houston, y'all. Y'all, I did not come to Houston. But I told y'all I wasn't coming. I gave y'all the heads up. 
Um, yeah, but Prophet Passion is awesome saying so. It was some a little miscommunication. Um, where the people there had told him to do a video. He told him to do a video. It wasn't really Prophet Passion. Uh, you know, it wasn't his fault. You know, people had put my name out there that I'm going to be there. I'm trying to use your name, you know what I'm saying, so that people feel feel inspired to come and then you ain't there. I don't know why people do that. Um, but it wasn't Prophet Passion fault at all. Me and Prophet Passion, I love Prophet Passion with all my heart. I die for Prophet. Uh, all is well. And the power of God is moving. Jesus is going to do amazing things. Uh, Prophet Passion, and listen, there's some things that uh, I know the Lord going to be doing with Prophet Passion that's going to be profound and I praise God for. It's going to be awesome. Too much. Uh, my son just told me a grant came through for $2,000. You see? You see favor? Do you see favor? Do you see favor? Do you see favor? Do you see what she just said? Do you see all of a sudden money came in? Even favor with her son's situation. See, saints, when we in the atmosphere decreeing stuff, see, saints, it's powerful. It's powerful. It's powerful. It's powerful. It's powerful. Um, it's powerful. It's powerful. Jesus, I love you. I exalt you. I love you. I exalt you. Lord, I pray that more favor will be released. More favor, I pray. I pray for more favor. I pray for more favor. Wherever they are, I pray for more favor. I pray for more favor. Mantoloosia. Vedula kolavobus. Sebudula vokolevaya. Vandele vokolavabas. Bless the pele vekis te poyan. Indolo ole kasiaka. Rakantala maso. There are going to be so many financial releases this week. So many financial releases this week. Prepare yourself for it. Wherever you are, prepare yourself for financial release this week. Prepare yourself for financial release this week. Lata, Sata, Nemon, Ilo, Erava, Alakulava. You know what I pray for you? I pray for you this week that nothing will make you stumble or fall in Jesus' name. I pray that nothing this week will make you stumble or fall. I pray this week that nothing will make you stumble. Oh, Paul. Oh, Paul. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Love you too. Ah. Uh? <laughs> okay, Papa. Okay, Papa. Let me call you back in two minutes. Let me. Huh? Okay, okay, brother, let me call you back in two minutes. Let me call you back in two minutes. I, I'm shocked. It's sad. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to tell you that's why. <laughs> Listen. I tried to tell. That's sad. 
I'm gonna call you back in two minutes, Papa. The golfer. I love you. The golfer. Now, saints, listen, I pray for you this week. Favor and grace. Favor and grace in Jesus' name. I love you all. I want to thank everyone. Everyone, um, you all that follow me, thank you so much. Love you in Jesus. Um, some of y'all are happy to get a little closer. You know what I'm saying? Saying this my face. I'm real. You know what I'm saying? Somebody asked me the other day, Tonson, why your face so clean? I'm like, nah, nigga, I'm supposed to take a shower, right? <laughs> what, what you what you, what you, you think this is, man? I'm taking a shower, man. Yeah. I take showers. Um, blessings to you, kisses to you, everyone. God bless you. Thank you so much for everything. I'm on fire about this week. I'll be meeting up with all of you all doing great and powerful scopes. We're going to we're gonna get it in real strong. We're going to get in real strong, and the power of God is going to move. More miracles are coming to you. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to release special words to you. I'm going to minister strongly to your life, and I'm going to pray for you in my time of secrecy okay like i always do uh the lord is going to do something powerful um the blessings of god is going to overtake your life and jesus is going to do amazing things uh for you somebody had a heart attack because they hear the word nigga my god Saying some of y'all, you can't hang around Jesus. You ain't ready yet. Some of y'all still scared. Some of y'all up there still traditional. Saints, listen, I ain't going to mess up my liberty just because y'all don't understand certain stuff. Uh, Saints, the new page coming on, on, on Facebook. I'm going to do a new page eventually. God told me to get rid of this old page and to do a new page, okay? Um, God bless everyone. Um... You can follow me on Twitter. Get on Twitter and follow me there, okay? God bless you. I love you in Jesus and saints, everyone. Um, I thank you for everything that you do to pray for me. Some of y'all don't even pray for me. Some of y'all don't even pray for me. You ain't right. Thank you for everything that you do. I'm playing around, saints. Love you in Jesus. You're blessed. And I'm covering you. I'm constantly thinking about you and the lord has knit us together in this life for this purpose for blessing I love you in jesus you're blessed and i'll talk to you soon okay saints follow me on um twitter if you don't have a twitter account please get one i'm ministering a lot there god bless